Katz. Okay. Who wants the mic first? Go ahead. Ish after the entire process of kind of getting used to a new role, how satisfying was today? I mean, anytime you get a win and you play well, it's it's an amazing feeling. So uh, definitely feels good to see my work and you know everything uh, come into play for sure. What was kind of working for you on the offensive end? I mean, it's it's coming easy when you're playing with people like Marquise and Keontae. I mean, defense have to lock in on them, so I just kind of find my way, whether it's cutting or spotting up for threes and help, just helping them. So when you play with great players like that, it's easy. And Keontae, it seemed like you kind of got going in the second half. What was kind of the turning point for you? Um, just coming out, the coach told me to come out and be more aggressive, uh, just keep fighting, rebounding, and just trying to make the hustle plays for the team. Um, Keith is going, so just keep giving the hot person the ball and just keep um, winning, basically. The last one, Keith, you guys got to hear Sandstorm probably for the first time. How, how was that? Uh, I didn't really hear it, to be honest. I was locked into what we had to do, but uh, I heard that song is really good when, when they play it, and uh, we win a lot when they play it, so that's good. Marquise, after Tuesday's win, how did you guys all just kind of stay locked in on this game coming up? Uh, we have a really good coaching staff, and we we have uh, you know a lot of seniors on the team that you know keep the group you know level headed. Uh, we don't try to get too high, we don't try to get too low. Uh, we just try to focus on the next right thing. So. You know, after, you know, we celebrated that, that night, we was right back to work, so. Uh, Ish, you've obviously talked a little bit in the past about maybe your struggles of getting used to the new staff. What was it about the new staff that made it, uh, your learning process maybe a little bit more difficult? Uh, I mean, every time, anytime you have a new system, new coaching staff, it's, it's adjustments that have to be made because uh, coach did a, he explained it before in the uh, preseason. He said, you know, there's, there's many ways to get to five, whether it's three plus two, Four plus one, so it's just a matter of learning and adjusting, and just seeing what they wanted from me, and just you know trying to really lock in onto that. What was the moment that things kind of started to click for you at some point this season? Because in Big 12 play, you've obviously started to contribute at a much higher level. Uh, I'd really just say you know going home, trying to just you know get my mind right, and just realizing you know uh, this team is is winning, and and I just want to be a part of it, and just kind of just doing whatever it takes to to be a part of it and help us continue winning. And confidence-wise, where are you at now compared to where you were at earlier in the season? Uh, I don't think my confidence ever really wavered in the sense that, you know, I, I had belief and I had faith in myself. And, you know, I feel like, you know, God was always going to help me get through it. And I always figure out any situation I'm in. But obviously, you know, when you're uh, playing against high-level uh, competition like Texas Tech and, and all the other Big 12 teams and you see that you're able to produce, it definitely uh, helps uh, raise it a lot. It's Big 12-ish. <laughs> Marquise, what kind of a lift, uh, put it into words for us, what kind of lift has Marquise, I mean, has uh, Ish given you these last couple of weeks? I mean, he's been playing big. Uh, you know, he's doing things on the defensive end that, that are really, you know, translating to the offensive end. He's given a lot of energy. He's rebounding more. He's, he's just, you know, doing anything possible to help us win. And when you do stuff like that, good things happen, you know, for you and to you. To you. And today he showed that with, you know, just – just coming in and you know locking in on defense and his shots was falling so it was a plus. Damn, I fall. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Keontae, how did how did you and the whole team just kind of flip the switch there in those last ten minutes today? Um, I feel like we uh, put, uh, applied more pressure in the second half, um, trying to make it hard for them to get the ball in, and then just capitalize off of their turnovers. Uh, we made big possessions and transition, uh, getting and ones, just getting to the line more. We try to get to the paint more in the second half rather than the first half, shoot, taking the three that they was giving us. <clears throat> Keontae, your first bucket of the day was that, that transition <laughs> dunk. How, how good did that feel to kind of break the seal after a game and a half? Uh, I mean, it felt change. good. Just It was a good thing. It was a momentum bucket for us, and it just helped me get going, uh, hearing the crowd, hearing my teammates um, cheering me on. So. It was definitely a momentum bucket for us, and it helped change the game. And then they were they were packing it in, especially early. How, how tough was that to adjust to for for? Uh, I probably it was tough in the beginning because we like when you on the court you can't really see what exactly what they're doing. But Coach Tane came in at halftime. Uh, he already had adjustments that he wanted to do, and the second half we did it, and then we got the lead. So, Marquise, what does it say about this league? that Texas Tech is still winless in conference, and they were 
leading you guys by eight there in the second half. This is the best league in the in the country. Um, every game is a is a game that you got to play tough, and for 40 minutes, uh, there's there's no weak teams in this league. Um, you know, and just you know, you got to be you got to be a dog. You got to be fierce if you want to be in this league and win. And to see that you know Texas Tech is winless, they are. If there was an, if they were in any other conference, they'll they'll be a really good team. But it just shows how you know competitive this league is. And you started to pick up the scoring mm -hmm. a little bit more than you have the uh, than the last two games. At at least the last game, um, is, was there a little bit more motivation to to really try and get some shots to start falling today? Um, no, not really. I just try to come out and be aggressive. Um, you know, just play my game. And when I did that, you know, shots was falling. And guys like Keontae and Desi, they was finding me. So it was pretty easy to, you know, just play my game today. Keontae, how much did the defense really key? Uh, you guys getting back into it? Um, I mean, when we was driving, they was packing line and it, uh, trying to convert too. So we, in the first half, we kicked out and got a lot of threes. And Coach, he wasn't really mad at us taking threes, but he wanted us to just get back in the lane and just try to draw fouls and just keep attacking them. So he told us to drive in the middle, and that's what we was doing. We was just taking the open shots that we got. And when you collected, uh, I think it was somewhat of a loose ball, the rebound on the wing and went coast to coast, did you see anybody in the wings, or were you taking it to the hoop all the way? Uh, I mean, that was my really first fast break, so. I was just trying to go out there and dunk it, really. <laughs> uh, Ish and Keese, I want to know, did you guys get a chance to wear the two-tones last year? I forgot. Versus Marquette. Yeah, yeah versus, versus Marquette. What, what, what do you think of the two-tones? You like the two-tones? I like them, personally. But yeah. They got a different feel to them. I like it. How about the new guy, Keontae? You like yeah, the nah, two-tones? Yeah, I definitely like it. I mean, it's the jersey I committed in, so. <laughs> <laughs> And then what was it like to, you know, have, it was only four minutes, but getting David Yassan back out there um, on the floor, what was that like? Uh, it was, I mean, it was big just to have, I mean, he'd been working off the court um, in practice and finally seeing him out, out there with us is just real big, just get his confidence back. And I know he feel good playing again with us, so. Uh, it feels pretty good to be number one in the conference, but uh, our motto is to focus on the next right thing and focus on what's next. Um, and that's just, you know, taking it one day and one game at a time. Uh, being first in this conference, you know, could come and go. Uh, we have a long season ahead of us, and, you know, we just try to focus one day at a time. Thank you all. Appreciate it.